What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we are talking about machines versus free weights. Which is better? But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. One of the age old debates in the lifting lore is are free weights better than machines? And there have been a lot of proponents of both. You have some people say, well, you've got to, you know, barbell squat, you've got to bench press, you've got to do dumbbells. They work stabilizer muscles that you don't get with machines. And then other people have said, no, you want to do machines because it's safer. You don't have to stabilize as much. And so there's less risk of injury. And for a long time, we didn't have research data. It was basically people saying, well, this bro says do this and this bro says do this. And we have examples of it working on both sides. For example, Ronnie Coleman, one of the greatest, if not the greatest bodybuilder in history, did a bunch of barbell complex movements. He squatted heavy. He deadlifted heavy. There's a video of him from his first DVD, which broke the internet at the time called The Unbelievable, where he deadlifted 800 solid ass pounds and he front squatted over 600 pounds and he he squatted like 800 pounds and obviously Ronnie got amazing results training like that. But then you also had people who didn't do that. You had people like Phil Heath who won seven Mr. Olympias. Ronnie won eight, Phil won seven. I mean, Phil got pretty darn close. In my opinion, him at his best, I thought his physique was maybe the best of all time. And Phil pretty much only did machines. This is why we have research studies, because if you're gonna rely on anecdote, there's always an anecdote to support whatever you want. So, what does the research say? If we equate for volume, number of hard sets, and we equate for effort, meaning proximity to failure, do we see differences? And the answer so far is no. We don't see differences. I'll make a devil's advocate argument. Most of these studies are eight to 12 weeks and perhaps there could be differences that are difficult to pick out during that period of time because these studies are difficult to recruit for. You can't run them very long because people drop off. So it is possible that there are differences, but if they are, they're probably pretty darn small. And again, we have anecdote for both to support both. What we have learned in the last 10 years about how muscle is built it seems like there are many paths to Rome. As long as you're taking a muscle close to failure and you're doing enough hard sets, that appears to be the impetus to grow muscle. And so if you think about mechanical tension, you think about proximity to failure, you think about number of hard sets, the muscle typically doesn't know what exercise it's doing. What it knows is tension, stretch, because we do know that training at long muscle lengths appears to be important. It knows how many hard sets you've done in terms of the load and progressive overload, and it knows the effort. And so it doesn't surprise me that we haven't seen differences in these studies between free weights and machines. So what is my practical recommendation? I love free weights. I love to squat heavy, I like deadlifting, I like bench pressing, obviously because I compete in powerlifting. And I built quite a bit of muscle doing it that way. And even when I was in bodybuilding, I still did a lot of free weights. But I've also gone through some injuries. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, you should use the training style that you are gonna be the most consistent with. If you're like me and you love to go heavy, you love these compound movements, it probably is better than just doing machines because if I'm on a machine, I'm just kinda like a ho-hum. I mean, I try to be intense, but it's not the same level of focus. But man, you slap 500 pounds on a squat, I'm ready to go. And so for me, because I enjoy that more, I'm more motivated when I go in, I push myself harder, it may actually be better for me. At the end of the day, consistency, number of hard sets, training through a full range of motion, and getting enough effort in proximity to failure, those appear to be the things that matter. So whether that's machines or free weights, both can be effective and you should choose what works for you or like most people, you can do a mix of both. If you're confused by this training stuff, don't really know how much effort, how often, check out the BioLane Workout Builder. We break it down in a way that is so easy to implement into your training. We take care of all the messy guesswork when it comes to reps, sets, effort, but we give you flexibility around the exercises to choose what you prefer and have access to based on whether you're going to a gym, a home gym, or even a minimalist home gym. So I highly recommend the BioLane Workout Builder. 
You'll get all of my evidence-based programs on there. You can click the link in the description and sign up now.